Hey, Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Friday sit rep. We have officially kicked off our Labor Day sale, uh, so you can use that promo code BKM15, save yourself 15% on pretty much everything other than the uh, Project Ukraine stuff. Um, I should say too, so the stuff in the clearance section that we just recently discontinued um, from production, so that's 20% off. Now you've got a 15% coupon that you can add on top of that. Um, and if you are an elite member, you get that additional 5% automatically, which means that there is stuff on BrickMania.com and in retail stores right now that is 40% off what it normally is marked at. So that's that's pretty crazy savings, especially for stuff that is going to be discontinued. So make sure you take an extra look at that. Uh, the sale does run through Labor Day, so you got some time, but we do expect uh, those clearance things to go pretty dang quick because that is a... Uh, well, a, a pretty awesome markdown to say the least. So we got some cool stuff hitting BrickMania.com today as well. So let's dive on in, take a little closer look. Just kidding. All right, and on a more serious note, uh, this is the European tram, and you can tell just by the, the prototype version of this build that this is going to be an absolutely gorgeous kit. So here's a little closer look at the uh, tram prototype. You can see we got some printing already going on the top there. Four opening doors, lots of windows. Like I said in the preview, those are the uh, Lego train wheels with the friction bands. Can be motorized uh, and does come with extra parts so that you can link multiple cars together. The top separates really nicely, so there's another look at uh, some of the interior space. You can see it's uh, held on there by about six studs. A little closer look at the bottom. I like the colors. Uh, it definitely looks like something that would be at home uh, in a variety of cities. It does come with a pretty awesomely unique minifigure too, so make sure to go check that out on the website. Otherwise, there it is, the European tram. Put it in your city or, uh, you know, create a, a train-themed zombie mock. I don't know where that came from, sorry, but there you have it. And for standalone new releases, we have the updated Japanese staff car with Officer, including that new 3D printed hat. Um, this was a Mary kit before she departed for, for Lego. Um, it was kind of funny, she left me some notes on it, and her notes were basically, uh, full printing, no stickers, new minifig, good times. There you go. I mean, what else do you need to say about it? So here's a little closer look at our updated Japanese officer minifigure. Both of the accessories are included with the kit as well as that awesome new 3D printed field cap with the uh, ear flap or neck flap, I suppose. Fairly simple loadout, uh, but cool to see those, those officer markings on the collar there uh, and a nice update. And pretty much the same goes for the build itself. Swapping out some stickers for now printed elements, opening doors, extra wheel. And like Mary said, good times. And it's already got a nice price point, which is awesome. Uh, made even sweeter by the fact that it's 15% uh, off. All right, and our standalone minifigure for this week, John Bassalone, who was, well, just one badass dude. Um, you do get all the parts you need to complete the uh, Brick Arms M1917 if you'd like to, but those of you familiar with uh, your wartime propaganda, uh, you guys will kind of recognize the pose we went for in the action shot, and then the one I've got him set up in here. So, nice, perfect caliber printing on that brick arms there. I really like the, the rust details at the end there. That's cool looking. And you can kind of see there that the chest artwork integrates with how he would hold that machine gun. is almost as though the belt is feeding right into it and then draped over his shoulder. A little closer look there at the artwork itself. Uh, also remove the helmet so you can see a little bit more of the, the head artwork. Fairly simple, but uh, definitely iconic in its own right. I absolutely adore that face artwork. It's just kind of the perfect, I'm holding a giant machine gun, don't mess with me face. So, good job there. Nice clean lines and all around an awesome minifig. All right, Brick Maniacs, that'll do it for me here on a Friday. Make sure to get to that clearance stuff before it's gone. Otherwise, have an excellent weekend, and thank you very much for watching.